we don't have time to waste reps here. And if we're going 75% of something, then we're wasting time. To determine strength and endurance, NFL scouts rely heavily on the 225 bench test. Proactive prepares its athletes for this important test with an intense training session that builds explosiveness and mental toughness. The NFL Combine is a test for them. They are coming here because we are the test prep. Everything we have is tailored to prepare them for this test. We emphasize lots of back and chest work for the bench. I mean, the bench is one of the biggest tests in the Combine, and so we ran them through a lot of bench today. They're really going heavy, just maxing out as many reps as they can. Again, do it again, do it again. Fast, fast. There we go, get it up. And that's talking the background, you know, but there's also, you know, them pushing you, you know, to get that extra rep and, you know, you're going to need that, you know, going forward and, you know, it's fun to work with these guys, you know, to know that they're going to push you, you know, to your limits. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. Really, really tough. Um, we start off, uh, you know, going pretty hard with the bench press. You know, getting how many reps we can get at a certain weight, and then uh, after that, we're still banging out reps. You know, I, right now I can't. I can barely bend my arms right now. So um, we come in here and we go after it. So. say the the work is a little bit more rapid so you know the movements are a lot more quicker you're moving around faster so it gets your heart rate going I think this is one of the most intense um, lifting you know regimens I've been through before Today, the focus at Exos in San Diego is twofold. The athletes begin on the field with speed and movement exercises before making their way into the gym for strength and power development. Monday and Tuesday, we're, we're really getting after it. On Wednesday, the athletes are going to come outside. At that point, we're going to go through a speed session. So during that speed session, we have about a 15 to 20 minute movement prep session. Where we can get their body ready to be in the proper positions that they'll need to be in um, in order to maximize speed and, and maximize their power output. Roll the hands down quicker, squat more. We go over to the track. Uh, we had a little bit of resisted running. We executed that with just a light weight. Encourages the athletes to be in a better position. We're trying to strike the ground quickly and get off the ground. And then we take that off and run free. It's kind of crazy how they how they see that the little details with, with, with my arm I was doing a 40 and my arm wasn't straight you know and it wasn't locked out and he, he noticed that so I've been trying to work on that and it's just little de little things and little details you try to little minor details that that could you know change just a uh, split time just just a little bit you know a couple seconds that's all you need. The big men have to have a, a good 10 yard and so um, I'm working on my my starts exploding out of out of uh, my three-point. Being able to kind of keep this pot positive angle that I have, a 45 degree angle, and keep it for 10 yards and then you know, kind of go from there. Every time you step out on the field or every time you go in the weight room, you know, you're trying to go, you're trying to go 100% uh, with everything you do. So when you get out there on the combine, you're confident in what you're doing. Even if a guy is not planning on benching at the combine, we still do some type of or some form of upper body strength training because even with our quarterbacks, they still need to have the upper body strength and the core strength and to be able to deliver passes and, and, and do the things that they knew, need to do to be successful. 
Um, but for our bigger guys, it's it's basically their their moniker or their staple that kind of gets everyone talking about them. Like, man, he's a mammoth of a guy. He can bench press 600 pounds. It equates to this. It equates to that. So, fun part is just being around guys that you haven't met, that you get to know and build a bond with. The hard working part is just waking up each and every day and grinding, knowing you got to give your best every, each and every day throughout the day. You can't slack or nothing because that's one. One little bit of slacking can really mess up your whole combine journey. You know, you just gotta want it. You gotta want it bad. So, you know, to those guys, don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. If you put your mind to it, you know, you can do it. Um, like I said, just put the work in and, 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 and bust your butt and the results, are, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll pay off. The importance of strength is echoed at Proactive in Orange County. Here, Lorenzo Malden begins to warm up for his training routine. So as far as Lorenzo, I'm um, coming in here, he's, they, the guy's a freak, you know, you, you see all this game tape on him and see how well he moves, and, but there's always small little things, you know, as far as building some endurance somewhere or, you know, as far as bench press, he's a strong guy and we seem to get that endurance factor built up for him. When I say up, you're back up, okay? So start down, arms behind you. Pause right there. Up. Good. Come on. Come on. Up. Three. Come on. Up. Four. Good. Come on. Come on. Up. Five. Up. Six. Good. Up. Seven. Up. Hey, give me two more. Up. Nine. One more now. Up. Ten. Good. 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 They're hitting their Vertimax for a couple that's reps, off, off. resetting, then they'll take the band off and they'll go to the Vertec and try to incorporate that explosiveness into, into that aspect of it. If you look how these are angled, they're angled down like this a little bit. So you always want to be on this side when you jump. Okay. okay? And the last thing, if I'm underneath it, it's going to make me jump back. Okay. okay. So I want to scoop back. Okay. This way we're jumping forward. So I want your toes to be about a half a foot from it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then I get a little water base there, Zoe. A little water. Yeah. Hey, now. Hey, now. A lot of the 40s or a lot of the 10 starts, a lot of the 20 starts, the pro agilities, you have to get down into a certain position. And by opening up those hips, get more joint mobile in those hips, you're going to be able to get into a better position. So yes, a lot of it is, you know, it, today was a lower body day, but it's a lot of it technique and trying to open up that body to, to, to you know, gain more flexibility and also get stronger as well. Hips through, hips through. 10, two more, two more. 11, good, good. And last one, 12, good job. Now put the waist down, keep the band on. It's more intense than I've, what I've been, what I'm used to. Uh, coming here and actually being able to, you know, work out every muscle that you have in your body is ridiculous. You know, back at Louisville, you know, we usually work out our arms or our shoulders, and you know, just our and just our our lower body. But you know, here they want you, know, they want your back, they want your abs, they want your shoulders, they want your 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 traps, they want everything. I can do a ten. No, my arms, my arms get tired more than anything. <laughs> Ah, ah, 16, 17, ah, 18, 19, 20. So what do you think an extra 20 pounds is going to do? I mean, I was working on my arms is getting tired. You know, they are, we, do, we base our stuff off a lot of Kaiser pieces. Kaiser's an air pressure um, piece that you can kind of see how explosive they are. You gotta get 2,800 or above. Here we go, you got six reps. 2,800 or above, let's go. Keeping that back flat like we talked about. Don't let your knees or toes blow out too much either. All right, let's get it, you got six. Stand up. Okay, now give me six. Pop them up. There you go, let's see where you go, rapid fire, go, give me five more, two, two. let's go, up, three, nice, four, keep that bottom left number in the 90s, one more, good job, 29.15. And uh, those pieces aren't putting any loading on your joints. So it's not, we don't, we never bar back, squat, we're never gonna hang clean because we find there's better ways to find explosiveness like the Kaiser pieces than to be loading the joints. Press them out. Pull the levers up. Mid section's turned on. Explosive no. coming out on the right, six times. Two, three, come on. 
and you and you just have a whole different mindset. Okay, you got to get through this. You got to get through this. Uh, don't don't uh, you know cheat yourself. Out of there, nice. Press him out. Let him go. 1860. Is that what that says? Though? You know, afterwards it's like. You know, I don't even think I can make it to my room after this. <laughs> I think I might need a, a trolley or something to take me to my room because my legs are done. You try to kill me, say it's alright though. It's alright. I don't think I want to do round four no more. Next time on Path to the Pros. You know, I kind of have a pride about me about not, I don't like to lose. So, you know, we compete and we, we talk, we talk smack to each other a lot. And, and I think that's what helps us get better individually.